YBC Duel was ambushed after being shot several times in the chest on August 23, 2024. The rapper was only 25 at the time of his passing and was reportedly the latest casualty from the Young Bag Chasers Collective in Philly's ongoing gang war. Authorities considered YBC Duel the ringleader of a dangerous gang based in West Philadelphia known as the Young Bag Chasers. YBC had been embroiled in a war with about six other local gangs during the time of his death. While Duel was a rising rapper, his claim to fame arrived after he filmed himself digging up one of his deceased enemies' graves. The footage went viral, and months later, Duel was a victim of gun violence. Allow me to summarize YBC Duel's story from the beginning to the end. With buddies, YBC Duel founded the notorious Young Bag Chasers group in 2017. Based in West Philadelphia near the 42nd and 43rd intersection of Mantua, the group's goal was to make money, which they accomplished for almost two years until one of their members was killed. On May 29, 2019, Joshua David Munson was along the 4200 block of Wyalusing Avenue in Philadelphia's Parkside section. At 1.40 p.m. police were called to the area for a person with a gunshot wound. Upon arrival police observed the victim who's later ID'd as Joshua Munson aka YBC Josh. He was suffering from multiple gunshot wounds and taken to Presbyterian Hospital where he was listed in critical condition. Unfortunately, the 18-year-old died from his injuries on May 31st. At the time of the shooting, a black male between 24 and 25 years old, wearing blue shorts and a white tank top, parked a gold Dodge Ram pickup on the corner of 42nd Street and Mantua Avenue, just around the corner from Munson. The man exited the truck and jogged to Wyalusing Avenue. The man ran back to the truck immediately following the shooting and drove westbound on Mantua Avenue. After this hit YBC members thought a gang from 39th Street was involved in Josh demise, in doing so they started the craziest hit sequence you could imagine. 39th gang began fighting back with YBC when a basketball match turned to violence it left a 20-year-old Narek Hawkins dead with multiple gun shot wounds to the body, you already know he became one of the topics in YBC duels disrespectful music, name dropping him as buddy who he said they were smoking on a regular. Not far from this incident a shooting at a crowded barbecue on 39th Street injured Sid who will later become a major issue for YBC because he was a known shooter, his first victim becoming YBC member BL or his family knew him as Bation Hall. Bation Hall was in the Belmet neighborhood of Philadelphia when he was surprised by a masked gunman who shot him multiple times in the head on 900 block of Belmet at AB at around 9.30 p.m., the shooting set up an insane chaining of events with YBC trying to get back for their fallen and willing to risk anything and everything to take him out. Somewhere shortly after this incident another YBC member named Lil Moo would get gunned down, many thoughts it had something to do with it. Unfortunately for him Lil Moo was the best friend of YBC Curry who was sentenced to 80 years which we will get into later in this chapter, after this incident Sid decided to lay low, his family decided to move him out of the city for a while to calm things down but when he returned to the city he was arrested. YBC soon received news that he was supposed to be released, they decided to camp out on him to ambush him as soon as he got out of jail but their plan did not work out as they planned, instead they killed a 20-year-old man getting out of prison, it was the wrong guy. They soon learned that Sid would be on house arrest and decided to pull up on him but in doing so they missed their target and hit a 6-year-old child, which made nationwide news. Sid continued to try lay low, YBC would not stop until they found him and they eventually did. On a Friday, September 17, 2021, Sid still on house arrest was with his father at their house on the 2900 block in the city's Port Richmond neighborhood after his family moved to a different side Philadelphia, he was trying to lay low, when a pair of masked men pulled up to his open screen door and opened fire inside hitting both him and his father. Sid would be killed right then and there and his father was injured. Unfortunately police were actually in the area and heard gunshots and pulled up to the area where they saw two masked men, one of them fired back at the police almost wounding them while the other was able to get away, police found one of the shooters hiding under a car, 
they were able to apprehend one of YBC's top shooters, Curry. He was named Curry because people feared him and was a well-known shooter. Curry was charged with this murder and another one, the arrest of Curry was the beginning of the end in for YBC, when several other gangs in the area would end up joining forces just to take out the top ops of West Philly. On Thursday March 11, 2021 at 3.04 p.m. four people were shot on the 1400 block of North 76th Street, Philadelphia, officers responded to the scene, learned that all four had been taken to Lano Hospital in two private vehicles, one of the victims was a rising North Philly rapper named Tamir Brown who also went by the name Lil Mir. He unfortunately did not make it after being shot multiple times, Lil Mir was cool with a lot of members from the 39th Street and his apparent killer allegedly had ties. With YBC YBC Duel and YBC members began dissing Lil Mir after the shooting in many songs and on social media, Lil Mir was an alleged member of another ruthless gang by the name of O to the Four, they would end up getting involved and clicking up with 39th Street as a means of revenge for their fallen member, this would not be good for YBC. One of the craziest incidents was the shooting of Nazir Marks an affiliate of YBC, getting gunned down and then just 30 minutes later a kid by the name of Kanye Pittman would be shot in retaliation in North Philly he would be named in songs over and over as Young Bull. KJ Johnson as he was known by his family was riding around planning to go play basketball with two of the four members of 56th Street members, when their car was riddled with bullets, KJ Johnson and another teen by the name of Tommy Fraser would be killed, Tommy Fraser is who they called Snipe. This is when 56th Street, the Clappers clicked up with O to the 4, and a gang from the 7th Street of Philly who goes by the Clappers with AK, including 39th and 44th Street who had bad blood over Sid and Pittman shooting joined up. And it was pretty the end for YBC but at the same time YBC would join up with North Philly PNB to try calm down the pressure but it did not work because the end for YBC would come very soon. 2021 was a year of raising the scoreboard for YBC but the years that followed had nothing positive for this infamous gang. J100 one of the founding member would end up getting shot and killed, this was a major blow to the gang on top of this YBC duel's cousin Fetty would end up getting shot in a brazing daylight as well, at the same time police were putting pressure with DA Larry Karen saying he was making YBC the top of his list of gangs he wanted to take down along with CCK. This is the fifth of five YBC defendants, or as we call them, you've been convicted. They used to call themselves young bag chasers. They're not chasing much inside those cells anymore. But this is the fifth of five YBC defendants convicted. YBC Duel would leave the city to live in LA and focus on his music career. He would do interviews or promote himself. From 2021 the number of murders in the city actually decreased. In February 2024 YBC Duel can be seen trolling his ops after he filmed himself digging up one of his deceased enemy's graves. The footage went viral. As Duel's profile began to rise, the artist reached out and collaborated with multiple spitters across the country. The Philly native hopped in the booth with Lil Scum 89 and Bloodhound Lil Jeff for his song Long Live Jeffrey Dahmer, a track where the trio raps about, well, killing their ops. Unfortunately, all three of the young men would die a month during, before, and after the song was released. Jeff was killed in June, Lil Scum 89 died in July. YBC Duel was killed August 23 while in a car on the 5500 block of North Fairhill Street, police said, around 3.30 p.m., another car pulled up alongside the vehicle and multiple shots were fired into the car. YBC Duel was struck in the chest and hand. He died a short time later at Einstein Medical Center. After the shooting, police found the getaway car burning in a lot on the 6900 block of North 15th Street. On North 6th Street in Olney, a white Hyundai SUV held there as part of the investigation. Police say a 25-year-old man was killed after being shot in the chest and hand, but they are still working to find where the shooting happened. Sources ID him as Abdul Vix, a rapper known as YBC Duel, affiliated with the West Philadelphia Young Bag Chasers, or YBC Gang. A short time later, just after 6, police say at least two shooters opened fire on a man walking on 12th near Fairmount in 
in North Philadelphia. Chopper video shows police focusing on this gray Hyundai that was riddled with bullets. Two weeks after West Philly rapper, a 16-year-old was charged with homicide in his death and other shootings in the city a couple months back. The Philadelphia District Attorney's Office, which held a news conference on a Friday afternoon to discuss the case, said it is charging Aiden Waters as an adult and that he faces charges in two other shootings that happened in August, including another homicide. A small group of young people in the city of Philadelphia made a decision to hold a gun, to point a gun at another human being and pull the trigger. The alleged teenage shooter is Aiden Waters. The DA says he's the killer of 25-year-old rapper Abdul Vicks in a shooting on the 5500 block of North Fair Hill Street in late August. Investigators report they've linked Waters to a wave of shootings in Philadelphia last month along with the murder counts. He faces attempted murder, aggravated assault, and gun charges. It's called clout chasing, is what we call it. It's what everyone, everyone calls it, I guess. You're looking for notoriety. You're looking to make a name for yourself. Prosecutors say the guns used in the killings were illegal and one had a switch installed, allowing for multiple shots with one squeeze of the trigger. Prosecutors are urging parents to search their children's rooms for guns. Recover the firearms that are in the homes, in the basements, under the rafters. Call the police. Tell them you found a gun in your house. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos.